Hey guys, it's Taku. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well in my struggling attempt to piece together all the collection updates I have for all my hobbies pretty much. I'm back here today uh, to showcase some manga. It's been literally like six months, I think, since this channel has last talked about manga. I haven't read much, to be fair. Uh, as soon as I'm freed from school, as soon as I graduate, I'm reading everything under the sun. Until then though, I'm collecting still from my favorites and over breaks I pick up a volume or two or every now and then when I can squeak by in the evening and read some manga. So we're gonna just jump right into things uh, with Fire Force. I've got two volumes of Fire Force. I've got volume 27 here with a very flashy cover. I'm in love with this. Um, I don't know a whole lot what's going on, so I'm not going to read it, um, but then I do have 28 as well. This is by Atsushi Okubo, and it's available um, from Kodansha Comics. I love Fire Force. I'm very hyped for season three, because um, season two, well, <laughs> let's just say season two covers a lot of ground in the manga, so it's like this is definitely the stuff that would be covered. I mean, the beginning of the end, so this is, this is where season three would go, um, and I yeah, I'm I'm enjoying Fire Force still of what I've read, and I'm still collecting it, obviously. Um, another one um, in the same realm of Shonen, you, you guys know me, I literally haul the same three series all the time, and this is Seraph of the End. <laughs> it literally wouldn't be a haul if I didn't do Fire Force, Seraph of the End, and a couple others. So uh, yeah, this is volume 24. Again, I'm not reading any of these volumes until I had like 10 volumes saved up so I could just binge them all at once. Um, so I don't, I have no idea what's going on here. Um, I, I continue to love the art though. This is 25. This is just a gorgeous cover. I love how Mika and you are once again on the same cover. It feels like so long since I've seen them. It's so long since I've been in this universe, honestly. Looking forward to getting back into it. But this is by Takia Kagami. It's art by uh, Yamato Yamamoto. And um, it's available from Shonen Jump Fizz. So yeah, I still love uh, still love Seraph of the End. I still give it the benefit of the doubt, even though I'm literally behind on it. Um, another one, again, I'm just picking up couples. Uh, this is Call of the Night by Koto Yama. This is also available from um, Viz's Shonen uh, line. Um, this is volume eight, which kind of is a boring cover, I'm not gonna lie. I have been trying to keep up to date with Call of the Night. I think I'm only, I think I'm on volume seven. So I am more up to date. I like this, this one though, um, with the investigator on it. So yeah, um, this is volumes eight and nine of Call of the Night. <laughs> um, I've got here a volume um, 15 of Requiem of the Rose King by Aya Kano. I was caught up on Requiem of the Rose King and then again I got slammed with a bunch of stuff so I don't know what's going on here. And I do, I want to stress with this whole haul and really all of the haul videos that you're going to be seeing over the next little bit. Uh, none of this was collected all at once. I mean this is clearly dating, like some of this stuff dates back to early fall. Um, just in terms of how I was able to like haul things and just get things together. So just keep that in mind. Uh, Rome wasn't built in a day here and neither was any of this. This is Your Turn to Die, Majority Vote Death Game um, by Nanki Dai. Um, this is volume two and it's available from Yen Press. I I like the, the indie game that um, Your Turn to Die. I think I only played the first couple chapters of it, but this would be still in the first couple chapters. So I loved the first volume. I thought it was a, this is a great adaptation of Your Turn to Die. If you're interested in kind of a indie horror, creepy, um, it's survival game, but it's mixed also with a bit of escape room, locked room mystery. I realize I haven't been explaining any of these titles. Um, sorry, uh, but this one I do recommend. Not a lot of people are reading it, but I think a lot of people are familiar with the game. So check that out. This is Phantom Tales of the Night by Matsuri. This is volume seven, and this is available also from Yen Press. I love this art. I love Phantom Tales of the Night. I'm also behind on it. I need to do a little... Um, little bit a little bit of reading to do and to get caught up but i enjoy it it's uh it's an invitation into the world of yokai and spirits and demons and monsters in japanese mythology that doesn't feel really uh in your face about it it always is like which japanese spirit or yokai are we dealing with today and then you eventually find out and that's why i think i like it there's a nice subtlety to it that really uh that i really appreciate um the, the rest of this is actually, I think, BL. <laughs> so uh, I've got 
Volume 3 of Seaside Stranger, Harukaze no Etranger. This is um, by Ki Kana, and it's from Seven Seas. I love Seaside Stranger. I love the aesthetic. I love the publications. I love the story. I love the characters. I love all of it. Um, I've read the first two volumes. I think I've even read this third one. I can't remember. I'd have to sit here and look. Um, the story really goes far outside what the film did, which was my introduction to it. And I, I'm enjoying it. So this is also volume four. I literally blinked and all of these volumes came out. <laughs> I'm not joking. I was out of the sphere for a little bit and then suddenly, bam, there were two more volumes. Not only that, this one literally just came in the mail. This is volume five of Seaside Stranger. So I am caught up with it. This, I don't think this is the last volume. There might be more. This also could be the end. I don't know. It feels like a final volume. And I can't remember if there was the pre-orders for six. Um, so if this is all of it, then here we go. <laughs> give you that little satisfying look um but otherwise i i do i think this one's really cute um again i think what i like the most about it actually is the art style i just like the island um the the island jam that it's got going on it's kind of a tropical bl which you don't really see that often another one here is go for it nakamura this is by shinde and this is um from seven seas i love the original go for it nakamura so this is go for it again nakamura I think I read part of it and then I stopped. I don't think I finished reading it because um, I was on a trip and I, I did pick this one up in a bookstore. I do remember that. Um, and yeah, so I I get more um, more Nakamura to look forward to. I love the retro vibe of this one. They're going for that big bangs, uh, wacky expressions, kind of uh, uh, Rumiko Takahashi feel. And that's what I've always loved about um, Nakamura the most. Again, it's art style for me. I have here, this is the sequel to Deco Boco, uh, was it Sugar's, Sugar Days? Um, but this is Deco Boco Bittersweet Days. This is by Atsuko Yusen. Um, this is from Tokyo Pop. This is also fairly new, although I think there is another sequel volume after this. So I don't know if it's a series. I thought the first one was fine. Um, I don't think I talked too much about it on this channel. I haven't really reviewed things as much as I've wanted to. I thought the first volume was fine. I think I liked it more upon um, like reflection. And so I decided to see, you know, people said that the sequel was even better. So we'll give it a shot. <laughs> and um, the last volume of manga that I have here is Sick <laughs> by um, Tomo Kurahashi. This is obviously BL. This is from Kuma. Kuma hasn't published a whole lot. They're kind of new up and coming, but I actually really enjoy their publications. They're, um, there's a size to them and I like the matte texture. There's always these little French flaps or even just um, wraparounds that I like. Um, I have the other volume. I can't remember what it was called. Um, it was like a, an anthology of works by that mangaka, but I liked Sick. I actually did read this one as soon as it came in the mail. I literally ripped open the packaging and I read it. It's steamy. It's a good one. Um, it's got a university setting to it. So again, if you're looking for kind of college aged BL that's not just high school, you might find something in this one that you like. It's a short read too, but it's worth it. This isn't manga, but this is the last thing I have to show off. <laughs> show off, <laughs> uh, as if that's the right word for it. But um, I am still reading uh, these beautiful, beautiful volumes um, that Seven Seas is putting out. This is Heaven Official's Blessing, uh, Chinguin Chifu. I'm probably butchering that name. Uh, but I, I, I really like, I liked the first one a lot. Um, the first one was set up a lot of iconic scenes and iconic moments just from this, the, from the thing, the product that this fandom enjoys so much. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, in, I'm curious to see where the second volume takes us. And I jumped ahead to volume four of um, Scum Villains Self-Saving System. I, I tried to read volume one and then I had to put it down because things got busy. Um, but this is volume four. The reason I picked it up is simply because of this um, Barnes & Noble exclusive bonus fold-out poster thing here at the end, um, which looks just like that. And it's beautiful and I love it. And I'm glad I got this version. So I did order this online and it just came in a little while back. But again, gorgeous publications. I'm so looking forward to diving back into into just reading, reading manga again, guys. But um, this is it. Let me know your thoughts on any of these series. Um, lots of BL, but also a, a little bit of family drama, a little bit of murder mystery, whatever the call of the night is. Um, and then, of course, my uh, shonen stuff that I always love reading. So, guys... 
Let me know your thoughts on any of these and till next time.